A lot of times we get the questionnaire MRI, does your kit come with all the electrical components? Is everything there that I'm gonna have to do? So I'm gonna go ahead and address that today. We've got the kits laid out from some earlier video segments that we've done, and I'm gonna go ahead and have Rach pan down, and we're gonna go ahead and look at the harness that we send out along with the fuses. I'm gonna touch base on uh, touch base on both of these. So ultimately, we send you with every kit one of these pre-made MRI harnesses. It comes with an inline fuse holder, which is what this piece is. Let's see if we can get her open, we did and two fuses. We send with each kit two fuses that are different in power or amp rating, if you will. One is a seven and a half, which we recommend that you start with, and the other is a 10. The reason that we send two is because with this product, there is a bit of a learning curve in the sense of sometimes an application, you may think that you have your bike up and it's not, and you're trying to raise your legs, or you may, uh, in the other instance, um, be trying to raise your lower your legs down, and the bike may not be up, and you may be hitting the ground. So we design the kits to use these smaller fuses. The motors themselves are very strong and can handle a lot of power, but we send these so that way, if the leg is coming down, let's just set this down here, if your leg is coming down, with its steel foot, I've still got these out from earlier, and you come down, let's say this is all attached, and the ground is here, and your bike is not up, and it starts to dig into the ground here because the bike is not lifted up, right? Instead of damaging the unit, you will blow the fuse. That's why we give you two. We recommend, set this down, we recommend that you start with the seven and a half because you can learn your lesson faster that way if you will. Secondly, the 10 is the one that you should always be using. If you're great with a seven and a half, then use it. But we recommend the 10 is fine for all other applications. So again, I want to touch base on the two fuses and its ratings. To go back to answering the questions, I'm gonna just step out a few here just a second. I'm gonna grab a, uh, one of the units we've already set up, and I'm gonna to refer to the wiring that comes on it Ultimately, set this right here for us. We use amp connectors uh, for all of our uh, products that we sell here, and it makes it really easy for you, the customer or the dealer or whoever my end customer may be. They're already pre-connected and pre-pinned. You'll notice that you've got one red wire that has the fuse on it, and that's gonna go to the positive side of your battery. You're going to notice that you have a black wire that also has a ring terminal, and this is going to go to any common ground. You could set this on your frame ground if you'd like to keep your battery uh, free of a lot of terminals if it's already overloaded there, and it will work out just fine. If not, you have plenty of room to get to the battery. You'll go ahead and start with your 7.5 amp fuse, and in most applications for the Harley, there's a quarter inch hole in the backbone, which we'll discuss later, for our install video where we like to use this switch uh, which would ultimately be on the inside bottom if you were riding. So this we would route up behind the primary again which was discussed in other install videos into and around the battery compartment. You're going to notice that it has a male connector, this has a female connector and really that's all your electrical install that you have to do. Again, these are routed to the battery and you've got your quarter inch switch and you've got an active unit. So that's as easy as it is.